I'll show you how you can make an AI chatbot based on your website's data so you can have a 24 seven AI assistant helping your customers. Even if you have no technical experience setting this up, cause I'll show you how to set it up with your website or files, how to customize it and how to add it to your website. So by the end of this video, you'll have a chatbot on your website. Step number one, go to Denser AI. As you can see, this is an enterprise rag. And what this means for people that don't know AI is that it stores your data and it can retrieve your data a lot faster. This is new technology in AI and many chatbot websites say that you can train it on your data. But what you don't know is that that data is actually quite hard to retrieve if you're not using RAG. So this is why I've partnered with Denser AI because for you, the answers from your chatbot will be a lot clearer, not make as many mistakes and give your customers a better experience. So all we need to do is to click on start for free, sign up with an email, Google or Facebook, and we're now on the inside. So let's head to step number two, set up the chatbot. So as you can see, I've set up three chatbots and all you need to do is click on new chatbot then you can enter a url right here i thought it would be funny to upload jetpens.com because they don't have any chatbot in the bottom right corner and i thought it was quite funny if i could get an ai to sell me this pen so just paste the link right in here and then if you have any files that you want to upload, you can also upload them here. Whether it's PDF, text, CSV, you can upload them here. But what actually happens if you click on build now? With the JetPens website, I uh, thought it was funny until I saw that it has been crawling 37,000 pages. And I've been waiting for an hour. <laughs> this goes to show how thorough they are at building this rag database that can basically answer any question your customer has. So I also built another one from royschocolate.com. As you can see, this is a chocolate website that sells chocolates for your grandma. It does look quite delicious though. Should I be a good grandson? So I just took the website, pasted it into Denser and click on build now. So as you can see, it scraped 762 web pages. You can see them all here that it has inside its database ready for you to ask it questions. But before that, we need to go to step number three, customize the chatbot. So as you can see on the side, we have leads, query logs, and in these settings, we can click on general and customization. Let's start with general. This is where it gets a random name. So we're gonna call it Roy's Chocolate, and we're also gonna make a description. Then we're going to make sure that the language is the target language that we want and click on save. Now let's go to customization. Here we can select a chatbot icon. I'm gonna use the Pika logo as a placeholder. Select the theme you want, either light, dark, or you can customize it using a theme that allows you to have the colors of your brand. I'm gonna keep it on light. You can select the leads on or off. We'll get to that in the leads collection part. And then we have the GPT version. Currently I'm using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. We also have GPT 4.0 Mini and some other versions. I'll leave it on Claude. Next is textual. So the initial message is hello, how can I help you? I'm gonna write, welcome to Roy's. We can also suggest questions that pop up in the chat. I'll say, what's your best seller? And on a new line, what's the best gift pack? You can also add message bubbles. This is a tiny pop-up that attracts your visitor and makes them want to click your chat box. Chat with our Roy's AI. And then we select the message placeholder, type your question here. I think that's fine. And then we have the message prompt. This is the very important step and I highly recommend you have something like this. I went back and forth with it in many questions to fine tune it to become the best customer support bot. The prompt I use is act as an expert customer service professional for Roy. You are being asked a question from a customer. Try to find the best answer for them 
think step by step. This is very important as just this prompt here alone will give better responses. For the last part, do not start your output with based on the provided context, just go directly into the answer. Because it's searching so much through the rag, many of the responses I got was based on all the provided context, the thing that we want you to, and I don't think that is the best output, so I wanted to have this in here and it made a huge difference. So I'm gonna click on save and go to step number four, test the chatbot. All we need to do now is to click on chat and I'm gonna make a fresh one here. And this is how it looks like. Your customer can either click on what's your best seller, what is the best gift pack, or they can go and type a question here. I'm gonna do the best seller question where the answer is our legendary Nama chocolate is one of our best selling products, particularly famous for its melt in your mouth texture. High quality ingredients in Hokkaido, Japan. Man, I wanna buy this now. Can you give me a link to buy Nama? And now it's giving me an offer. All right. Seems like there are many different versions of it. The chatbot said nothing about that your mouth will melt even before eating it. So let's ask it what's the best gift pack. I would highly recommend our special assortment box that features a delightful mix of matcha, infused confections along with dark and milk chocolates. This gift set contains 27. I gotta buy this. Wow, that is beautiful. Excellent answer. Great price as well. So you can see how having a chatbot like this gives the customer a better experience. But we also need step number five, put it on your website. So all you need to do is click on settings then click on integration. Here you can see you can install it with Slack. So you have it directly in there to answer questions. This could be huge for companies that have a lot of FAQs, databases, to use a very powerful RAG system that stores your data a lot better and is able to give you better responses. You can also integrate it with Zapier. This means you can even connect this to your emails, send that to Denser, get a response, and then send it back. But I would actually recommend you have a human approve the message that it writes before it goes out. Next, you can do Shopify. Here, all you need to do is to get a code and enter this into your HTML. I'm not too familiar with Shopify myself, but I envision it's somewhere in your theme settings or customization settings where you're allowed to paste some HTML. Next, there is WordPress. And I've actually done this before with my WordPress website, and it's as easy as adding a new plugin, searching for Denser in the WordPress plugin store, making sure to click the activate button. You'll now find the Denser plugin in the settings of your WordPress website where you just provide the chatbot ID and Denser should be up and running on your website. This also works easily with the website integration where you can get the code for chat widget or as an embedded frame by using this button here. And now I wanna talk to you about the price. So you can see that I have a business plan that gives me 15,000 credits and eight chatbots. However, on the free trial, you get one Denser bot and 20 queries. It also allows you to store maximum of 100 docs slash web pages or 50 megabyte doc storage. So this is more to test it out and see if you like it. And then go to the starter plan at $19 a month that gives you two Denser bots, 1500 queries, the REST API, and a 30 day query log retention. This is where you can see every chat that your chatbot has been doing and your customers. And by upgrading to the $89 per month plan, you get a lot more queries and remove the powered by Denser AI label. And for the business plan, you get a lot more queries and you get custom Denser bot development and dedicated accuracy support. So is this worth it to you or not? For me, $19 per month, if you have a popular website and you're getting traffic, 
is a no-brainer. People love interacting with chatbots now. And if this can help them get from A to Z quicker because they don't know your platform, it makes a lot of sense. So go and check out denser.ai by checking the description down below. Click on get started and start indexing your website. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it helps. Also, if you're wondering what's new in AI every week, go check out the new AI and the podcast. It's kind of like hanging out, talking with your friends about the top five things that happened this week in AI. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out and I'll see you in the next one.